I'm John Smart, sales lead here at Bonware Staging. Joshua Davis, site manager, Bonware Staging. Um, the life cycle of a THU unit. Um, through PDAs and through IA identifying the needs, um, they decide that we need some units. They task logistics with coming up with the units and setting up yards such as this. Uh, at that point, the factory and or pulling from other national inventory, we bring units into here. Um, IA qualifies people through the application process to receive the units. At that point, uh, we're tasked with sending these things out. Some of the places that they go are private sites, such as the people's house. Some of them are group sites that uh, we actually put together uh, during the disaster. Logistics gets the ground rented up and then there's a uh, you know, big preparation and they put in all the uh, utilities and such and set them up for the survivors. Then there's also, they could be set up in a mobile home park or something such as that. One of the important things to understand is that the temporary housing units that FEMA employs in a disaster, they're not temporary structures. They're HUD certified mobile homes that are intended for temporary use. I think that the temporary housing program is one of the crown jewels of FEMA's programs uh, for the general public. We provide hundreds and thousands of temporary housing units to families who have lost their homes, they've lost their personal property, and in some cases they've lost loved ones. And so it's a great feeling to be able to provide uh, an essential need to those families in their time of crisis. It's, it's a great feeling to be able to provide them with a roof over their heads and some place to, to be uh, while they organize themselves and they, they make plans to rebuild or repair their homes. After the mission for those units are over, they come back here to a staging area such as Mon Weir and at that point their disposition is decided. Now, through sales and donations, we have dispersed all, almost 1,400 units at this point. Now, that does not count what IA has sold to the individuals. So, which was at last count about a thousand units. The remainder of those units move on to GSA auctions, and GSA auctions is open to the general public and anybody can bid. It's uh, kind of an auction process, a lot like eBay, and they're on there for approximately seven days, and highest bidder wins.